But that man is telling you that you are still an entrant into Asian equation. Whereas you are claiming you are emerging as a global power, he says, man, 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 man. Now you are just entering the Asian equation. So India has to do a lot of internal work to rise to whatever it is dreaming of with me. So that our government is focusing on. So we are now running out of time. Uh, I'm very sorry for this because of the slide. Undoubtedly, it was a really pathetic experience listening to his views on the India for the world issue. Now I uh, request uh, our colleague, Dr. Munish Salma, to go to the board. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, since I have gone through the diaspora, the one whose initiative which was taken by BJP was the you know, you know, commissioning the first high power committee of diaspora. I just wanted to know just two major questions. When are we going to have a second committee on diaspora itself? Uh, no, uh, obviously I am not the right person to answer that question. Somebody in the government and uh, especially the ministry can answer the question. But having said it, I was also a member of the Pravasi Party Committee. So I can tell you we have uh, now, uh, I mean, uh, nominated new members to these. There are a few boards which take care of the diaspora. There is diaspora development board. There is the uh, migration related studies uh, 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 group. We have now taken new people into it. We want them to work actively so that these diaspora issues can be handled. But when is the next commission going to be instituted? I have no idea. Sir, my name is Anika Sadi. I am from University of Mumbai. I just want to only to continue our question. Sir, on one hand, the new government is uh, talking about the development, development of nation building. But the some leaders of, uh, are talking about the Dharat auction and Love Jia. I just wanted your comment on this. You know, let there be different voices, it sounds good. You know, music, there is a good uh, symphony of music. Don't worry, uh, let people have freedom to talk. Uh, once the society is mature, it takes care of all those issues. Let government focus on the objectives like development, strengthening its economy, strengthening the focusing and development. Let organizations have their, uh, their objectives, their mandate, let them uh, say things. So India is a democratic country, people say things. So you have a unique question in research is thinking, sir. You spoke about multiple objectives. Quickly, with relation to China, where does the water I, water issue uh, lie on the priorities list? <coughs> and secondly, the climate change, the PM's Council on Climate Change, which recently met, came out with a whole innovative con call for green credits, replacing the whole carbon credits ideology. Uh, talking, taking that forward, a cartel of solar power capacity countries, and taking China on board, which currently is the largest manufacturing of solar panels as well as photovoltaics. Uh, where does the equation lie in climate change negotiation with China? Is that another two objectives? Hello, see, uh, the, as far as the climate change issues are concerned, green credits is a uh, fairly old issue now because uh, green credit issue and also the solar energy club, they call it. Countries with about 300 days of solar power available, 300 days of solar energy available. Uh, these two are slightly old concepts now, but both the concepts were initiated by uh, Mr. Narendra Modi when he was the Chief Minister of Gujarat. He initiated them, later on uh, Premier Manmohan Singh also welcomed this idea that some work has happened in the direction. Uh, the bigger issue about climate change is what we are negotiating with, uh, with uh, a number of Russian policies that uh, you know, you cannot have same yardsticks for all the countries. Different countries have different situations. So some kind of an arrangement where countries do not feel suffocated by a new, a new climate change regime. Because I asked China to do this, you also should do that. Uh, this cannot be the approach, that's what we are arguing. And we are a very responsible nation. We control emissions in a big way. We are not like China. India is a much more responsible country. But you know, that is the trickiest thing between our two countries. It's not about security. It's not about Pakistan. It's not about counter-terrorism. These are the areas where a lot of common ground is there. We can work together. 
but the trickiest issue is climate change negotiations where western powers <coughs> want to have some kind of a hegemonic approach they want to set standards and all others are expected to follow those standards it doesn't work that way the rest of the world has been very responsible that's the reason why there are still some uh, you know there is still some oxygen for people to breathe in usa it's not because of usa greatness it is because of the uh, probably the south american continent probably because of uh, africa because of india because of the third world countries that there is still some breathing uh, uh, available for uh, developed world so you can't have that kind of energy where you set the targets and everybody has to follow we are actively negotiating on the issue probably we have to mobilize many more countries to support us you know isme bahut kuch aur question chalta hai the governments jante closer to that convention that conference chota countries ko manipulate kar lete hain many things happen so india has to be very alert to the situation i hope we will do that so it was really a very experience in situation now i call upon dr wilson